Hey, what up, Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Fallout 76 video. Before we get to the video, it looks like I'm gonna have to rebuild my camp because since yesterday, some weird stuff is happening with the camp. I tried to fix it and <laughs> just can't. Server hop, whatever. And uh, this is one of the bugs that's happening. I kind of get, I don't even know how to say this, stuck in my throne. <laughs> and the spawn point is broken I teleport all over the place and no matter where I place this thing so I guess I'm gonna have to rebuild my camp which is a real shame as I built it yesterday uh, but anyway in this video we're gonna be covering uh, the outfit which is called icebreaker outfit which you can earn by playing season 4 and acquiring rank 98 uh, also I'm gonna combine it with my uh, outfit combo so uh, that's uh, the combo I'm going to be rocking with, with for Season 5 and then we'll uh, redo my outfit combo. But anyway, let's start wasting time, jump right into it. One of the favorite... What? <laughs> How is this even possible, man? It fixed on its own. Alright, so let's begin. Uh, this outfit you can acquire by playing Season 4 and by reaching uh, rank uh, 98. I am not 100% sure if this outfit will ever make a return to the Atomic Shop or any other ways of acquiring this outfit. Uh, I mean, we did have cases where a couple of uh, camp items have been uh, kind of resold at the Atomic Shop, but never seen at the moment any of the outfits being resold at the Atomic Shop. So the only way as of now is by getting it by playing Season 4 and reaching rank 98. Now this outfit is actually pretty cool and also kind of reminds me of the Elder's Battle Coat but a bit a bit different although I still want for that Elder's Battle Coat to also make a return as I had it on PC but I don't have it on Xbox so I won't be able to show you comparison but anyway uh, this is the outfit and uh, my current loadout that I'm going to be rocking with for Season 5 I have a few monikins over here. The monikin standing right next to me is a female uh, monikin, so you'll be able to see how this outfit looks like on a female character. And as I said, um, my, this is becoming one of my favorite outfits as well. It's actually pretty cool. The gloves, I love them. Uh, the front look is just crazy good. I mean, I just really love that, you know, the open jacket and stuff like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, the pants, the boots, man, everything is perfectly made. And uh, yeah, I mean, check this out. From the backside, you can see ooh, on a female character, look good, man. <laughs> All right, so this is the deep cave backpack that I'm going to be rocking with. And uh, that's how it looks like on the back on the male character at the back. So if you want to see, there we go. So for my combo, I've used the Raider gas mask over there, which was before locked be behind a paywall. So you had to, the only way to buy it uh, was by uh, purchasing the bundle, the Raider content bundle. Uh, but it did make to the Atomic Shop, so time to time we might uh, have these things returning. Then we got the Bandit mask, which comes with an outfit, uh, Bandit outfit and Under Armour, and the mask goes with it. And a Fallout 76 cap, which made a return last week. Thank you to one of the Z Clan members. I do apologize. I did not remember of the username, but we had a case where I was talking about, man, I wish this cap to return. And I thought it wouldn't return because it would be like available to players who started the game back in 2018. But they actually made a return, and I grabbed this straight off the bat with a 50% discount. It's actually one of my favorite caps. So, but that's the thank you for returning that item. Maybe if you could comment down below the things you want for, for Bethesda to return, and maybe Bethesda Spies will uh, take a look at those and consider it. <laughs> so yeah, back to the outfit, man. I love it. Uh, so once you've uh, acquired it through your scoreboard, you will need to navigate to your armor workbench, navigate to the outfits, uh, navigate to letter I, and build the outfit. So it costs only five clothes to make one. So, uh, as I said, 
this outfit is definitely going to be one of my favorite outfits right now. It sure does look good. And I really hope for the Elder's Battle Code to make a return as well. I don't care. Paywall or Atomic Shop, I would, I would love to get it. So yeah, and these are some additional uh, kind of like mix that I made. Uh, one of the new Raider uh, Skull Masks. I, actually, I didn't expect for it to look good, but when I placed it, it actually does look really nice. As that sweater kind of covers the mask, and it, it's like, I mean, you gotta admit, this looks good. This looks really good. Then we got the, the Bog Mask, if I'm not mistaken. This is the Fall of First. Uh, item this bog mask right here makes him looks like Jason man all we need is a machete and yeah also looks good I mean I, I like it from the back and from the front looks really nice uh, then the lumberjack hat if I'm not mistaken that one right there the eye patch and radar gas mask uh, surgical uh, mask uh, wrapped around goggles and insurgent hat over here also looks a pretty nice combo and on my lady over here, wrap around goggles, uh, skull mask, and uh, the black cowboy hat. Also a pretty good looking like combo. So that's I like. The outfit itself, definitely worth the grind. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. The insurgent elf uh, hat you can get by, if I'm not mistaken, doing the all miner event. Uh, tra hunting those treasure mole miners and open opening the pails and in hopes to get the plan to make the hat because you can get two plants is to make a hat and, or the outfit uh, yeah and the other items that I've covered here well these are atomic shop this one is follow first and that's the atomic shop as well uh, the black cowboy hat can be found in white springs on the wheelchair the skull bandana and the wrapped around goggles can be found at the Sutton station. And by the way, the surgical mask over here as well can be found at the Sutton station vendor. So to quickly show you around, uh, the Black Cowboy had White Springs Golf Club. You enter the building, go downstairs. Uh, if you go, if you use the stairs, you go downstairs, turn right, turn left, and you'll see like double door before you exit turn left again and you'll see a skeleton on the wheelchair and on the wheelchair you'll see the black cowboy hat and uh, for the other items that I mentioned that you can acquire is the Sutton station right here so basically you just go to the vendor bot and you buy it. if the vendor bot doesn't have it there's two two possible cases first is that you already bought it second case someone bought it before you did so the only solution is server hop and hope that they're there and I'm, I'm pretty sure you can buy uh, like more of those every 20 hours maybe. I might be mistaken because I remember when I uh, made the reviews for those, I did check it and the vendor bot wouldn't sell me those again. I, will, I had to wait. Maybe things have changed. I haven't tested it this time. So, yep. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and check that out before we end this video because I actually did buy buy all three outfits today like just before I start recording and let's see if uh, I still have access to them plus I bought it on the public server and right now I'm doing this on the private server so just to double check uh, to make things right and then I think I'm gonna start building my camp again because I'm telling you some weird stuff is happening man I tried to relocate my spawn point it didn't help the chair got broken and I don't know why, because yesterday everything was was good. Oh yeah, they resell it. Nice, there you go. <laughs> cool. Maybe because it's a private server. I'm not sure. But anyway, test your luck because it is there, and uh, you can get it. And I think I'm gonna be man building my camp again. Man, it took me so many hours yesterday. It was so hard to build this stupid camp on the freaking mountain, man. Uh, yeah. The downside of this location is that I have to fast travel twice to get to the camp, but the upside is there are no enemies here. And for some reason, I, the spawn points are now always different, and yeah, so I really love this bird, man. Look good. <laughs> but I think I'm going to move right on that mountain over there. One of the favorite.
What? <laughs> How is this even possible, man? It fixed on its own. I'm telling you, before I started recording, I did everything. I server hopped a couple of times. I went to different servers. I did the private server. I jumped from different locations on the map. I've spent like a couple of minutes on the server and nothing helped. And now it, <laughs> it works. Okay then. Um, I guess I'm not moving. <laughs> uh, well, this is where I'm gonna call it the end for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity, as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. So, if you got something to say, negative, positive, feel free to comment. The only thing I ask of you is not to swear. And uh, if you're new and you subscribe. Well, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Soul from Ukraine. So, hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks a lot for watching this video. Hope you found it useful. And I'll see you on the next video. And by the way, thanks for the comments on the camp review. I mean, that I've made. And many of you said that this is the first sort of prototype of a score beast. Because <laughs> at start, I didn't know what the hell that bird is. But anyway. Thanks all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Looking forward to your comments. Bye. From the ashes we rose into